Here we have 1,355 plus 30. So we have five tens in our number and we want to add three tens. So let's add one, two, three tens. And we have 1,385 because we now have eight tens. So what is 2,132 plus 50? We have three tens. We want to add five tens. So let's add one, two, three, four, five tens. And that makes 2,182 because we now have eight tens. Now it gets more difficult. We have nine tens in our number, but we want to add one more ten. Nine plus one is ten, but we can't have ten, a two-digit number, in one place value column. So rather than thinking us as having nine tens, let's think of us as having nineteen tens. When we add one more ten, we can regroup our ten tens to make another hundred. So our answer is 2,209. Because we don't have any tens, but we do have two hundreds. And two hundreds is the same as twenty tens. This is confusing, so let's look at another example. We have 1,994 plus 10. Again, we already have 9 tens, and we want to add 1 ten. In our last question, we counted the hundreds column as tens, but this won't work here, because we can only have one digit in each place value column. 99 is two digits, but if we add one, we get 100, which is three digits. So, we need to look at the thousands, hundreds, and tens together. To see why we need to do that, let's add 10 to our number. We now have 10 tens, so let's regroup those 10 tens to make 100. But now we have 10 hundreds. So we need to regroup those to make another thousand. So our answer is 2004. So really, we had 199 tens, added one ten, and now we have 200 tens. Because 200 tens is the same as two thousands. And of course, the four units stay the same. What is 1,581 plus 50? So we have eight tens, and we need to add five tens. That would give us 13, a two-digit number. So instead, let's think of us as having 58 tens and adding five. And let's see why we need to do this. We're adding five tens, but once we add one, two tens, we have ten tens all together, so we need to regroup to make a hundred. So we've already added two tens, and we want to add five, so let's add three more tens, that gives us 1,631. We now have six hundreds and three tens, which is the same as 63 tens. So finally, pause the video and see if you can work out 1,878 plus 60. We have seven tens and want to add six tens, but that would give us thirteen tens. So rather than seven tens, 
let's take the tens and hundreds together. And to see why we do that, let's start adding our six tens. We have one, two, three, but now we need to regroup those ten tens into a hundred, four, five, six. So we have one thousand nine hundred and thirty-eight. We have nine hundreds and three tens which we can think of as 93 tens.